Right now, it's time for Verify. Every day I get all kinds of questions in my inbox. Most of them these days, understandably, are about the election or COVID-19. But let's take a break from that and answer a different viewer question this morning. A viewer sent an Instagram post to the Verify team that appears to show a change to Facebook's terms of service. Effective October 1st, the notification says Facebook can, quote, remove or restrict access to your content, services, or information if we determine that doing so is reasonably necessary to avoid or mitigate adverse legal or regulatory impacts to Facebook. So is this legit? Well, we reached out to Facebook to get to the bottom of it all. A spokesperson told us, yes, this is a real change to Facebook's terms of service. In a statement, they told us the change is intended, quote, to provide more flexibility for us to change our services to continue to operate and support our users in response to potential legal action. The spokesperson made it clear to us this policy change is reactive rather than proactive. It was put in place, get this, in response to legislation proposed by the Australian government. According to a press release from the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission, if passed, this new law would mean Australian media will be able to bargain with Google and Facebook to quickly secure fair payment for news content. The change would allow Facebook to block people in Australia from sharing news content on the social media site, therefore preventing the revenue sharing law from going into effect. So why is this a global rule? What's going on in Australia? Why does that affect us? Well, Facebook says they made the update across the board in case other countries followed suit. So we can go ahead and verify. Yeah, this is a legit post. The terms of service update is real, but Facebook told us that the update shouldn't impact your individual posts. So. There you have it. Hey, remember, if you've got something that you're seeing on your timeline, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, you can send me an email, crogers2 at kcentv.com.